I'm Anthony Valeri, Director of Investment Management in Wealth and Fiduciary Services. Thanks for joining. In late February, short-term treasury yields exceeded 5% for the first time since 2007. Banking concerns have since pushed those yields lower, but with the Fed still on track to raise interest rates over the coming months, we take a, higher yields are likely to persist. Today, we'll take a look at whether to make sense to invest in equities with higher short-term yields. Here, we're using the one-year treasury yield, and we found the implications to be roughly the same, whether it's a three, six, or nine-month treasury security. The one-year treasury yield, our proxy for short-term yields, has been above 5%, 43% of the time. With that kind of yield or close to it, does it make sense to invest in conservative fixed income and wait it out? Well, we're not believers in trying to time the market, and equity investing should be viewed as a long-term commitment. Yes, there are always risks to investing, including the current environment, but what does history have to say about investing in stocks when short-term yields are higher? We looked at monthly data over the last 70 years, and the results were consistent. Total returns averaged 9.3% over a one-year period and 7.9% over three-year periods all of which occurred when the 10 year one year treasury yield was above 5% or more those returns are a little below average the 10.8% over the period for the broad S&P 500 index but that is still a strong return that will help investors meet their financial goals the percentage of positive periods was also not far off the 75% historical average we don't know what future returns will be, but historically higher short-term rates haven't materially impacted the outlook for the stock market and its performance. You should always consider a variety of factors, not just short-term yields, in determining how much and when to invest in equities. Now let's shift gears to fixed income markets and see if there's an impact there. And one area that does get impacted or has where we see some notable difference is in the high yield bond market. Here is an average high yield bond yield relative to the one year treasury. When that yield gap is narrow relative to history, high yield bonds have delivered below average returns. Specifically, when the average high yield bond yield advantage to the one year treasury has dipped below 4%, the average 12 month return has averaged 3.7% versus the historical average of 8.1%. In short, the narrower the yield gap creates a disincentive for fixed income investors, and that's not surprising. So we conclude that high yield bond investors have a little bit of a headwind when that short term yields are higher. However, when it comes to investing in equities, short term yields alone have not provided an argument against stock investing. I'm Anthony Valeri. Thanks for joining. We'll speak to you again soon.